This is Code Practices with InfoPulse experts. Today, we are finally talking about the Playwright. It is a powerful tool for test automation of web applications. It supports all modern rendering engines, including Chromium, WebKit, and Firefox. It works on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, locally or on CI, headless or headed. It is reliable due to browser event handling mechanisms and an automatic wait for elements feature. If you have experience with any test automation software, the Playwright will be familiar to you because of the typical interfaces. If you have ever worked with test automation tools, the best way to get acquainted with the Playwright is the record and playback feature. Open the terminal and type the next command, Playwright Code Gen. As you may see, the Chromium window is displayed as well as the Playwright Inspector. Let's record some simple tests with the Coffee Card app. All your steps are recorded in the Inspector window. As this code is generated, you can select its target form, a separate Python file, the PyTest file, or even Java, Node.js, C-sharp code. Copy the PyTest code and paste it to the IDE, then run the test. Let's have a closer look at the generated code. It already utilizes the page fixture in the test function. The test function contains the list of actions we have done. Go to the web app, click on locators, and verify the text in the end. The page object represents the web browser page and supports all basic interactions end users can do in the web browser. Click, tap, check boxes, and type the text. I really enjoy the built-in Playwright documentation. Just control click on any method to get the full list of its input parameters, their description, and a link to the up-to-date documentation, one of the best automation tools documentations I've ever seen. At this moment, you've already got the test project and an example of the Playwright test. I'd recommend you play with it, record your own few step tests and try to run them. Hope you are enjoying this video and such format of short and useful guides. Hit the subscribe button to not miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated.